Today, we're unboxing the Dell Optiplex 3050 Micro. Here, up at the top, we have our keyboard. And then we have our mouse, our power brick, and the little device itself. This has a 7th generation i3 processor inside it. And in just a moment, we're going to open this up and take a look. All right here is the 3050. We have two USB 3.1s, dedicated microphone and headset, and our power button on the front. Along the back, we have a Wi-Fi antenna option. We have one gig Ethernet, two USB 2s, two more USB 3.1s, our Kingston lock, DisplayPort, and HDMI, along with our power. To open this up, we're going to remove the one Phillips screwdriver that's holding the back plate on. And then to remove this cover, we're going to slide the entire front half of the chassis forward and then lift it out of place. As we can see here, this is pretty dusty inside. This is a refurbished model. This looks like our SSD here. We're just going to remove this to get a better look at what we're working with. And it looks like we have a Lighton 128 gig SSD running on SATA 3. I'd like to see something here in the NVMe port. However, I can't complain because it's not a hard drive. And then we're going to lift up this dust cover just to see how much RAM we're working with on the back. Well, that's super gross. And it looks like we're working with two four gigabyte sticks of DDR4 running at 2666 mega transfers per second. And underneath here, we're going to have our i3-7100T, which is a two-core, four-thread processor. At some point in the near future, we're going to give this device some upgrades with 16 gigabytes of RAM, an NVMe SSD, and an i5-7500, but we're not quite there yet. So for now, we're just going to button this back up. In replacing most Dell fan shrouds, you have to slide the back section in first, and then the two tabs will snap into place. Be careful not to catch your wires underneath here or get them caught on the case as you're closing the top back up. For our SSD, we're just going to find our notch. We're going to slide it in place near the top and then move it back towards the connector. And then we're going to take our top cover shroud and slide it back into place. We're going to start the screw just with turning our fingers and then we're going to take the Phillips head screwdriver to secure it in place. Then we're going to start up this little Dell machine, our second one on the table this week, and see if there's anything we can do with the software. And we're gonna run some updates on this thing. It has been quite a while since it was last plugged in. And we're just gonna take a look and make sure everything registers inside our machine. And we're able to see our i3-7100T processor, our eight gigabytes of RAM running at 2400 mega transfers per second. I guess the i3-7100T doesn't have the capacity to run it at a higher frequency. And we're running UHD 630 graphics. And we're just going through and removing the last of the bloatware that made it onto this machine. And once all these different updates installed, this guy will be ready to be put into use.